Hey guys, today is Sunday. Uh, yesterday I went for an excursion which was super super nice for uh, like uh, when I say excursion I mean like a hike uh, because in Spanish it's excursion so I don't know if it's the same in English. Uh, yeah, I went for this hike uh, with uh, a group of people and it was so amazing, uh, so beautiful and I was all day like really active walking and yeah, I came quite late. So today I have a super chill day. Uh, it's Sunday and I'm just going for a walk now because today there is a, some kind of a holiday in or like a week of holidays, I'm not sure, in my city where they put uh, flowers on the floor with like like these expositions of flowers uh, which I don't know, I haven't never seen it before because uh, last year it was cancelled but yeah, I saw that they are doing it so I'm going to to the city to check it out and I will take you with me so yeah, let's see so busy on Sundays So I just came back from the city, it was so beautiful, there are like so many expositions of flowers, uh, I think it's some kind of a religious holiday, I have no idea which one, but it's so pretty, like there, there were quite many people, um, there are queues everywhere, but it was still, it was so beautiful, it was all done with real flowers and yeah, so nice. I went to the fruit shop after that and bought some fresh summer fruits oh look at this oh, i'm so excited and i'm so happy this weekend actually i also bought a watermelon and i'm going to prepare lunch and eat on the balcony like that's why uh, i really love this city where i live because uh it's it's a bit touristy but actually from Monday to Friday it's okay, only on the weekend a lot of people come at least for now because the, I think that there are still no international tourists just the people from around uh, Barcelona area and stuff uh, but uh, oh my god, like at first I was very annoyed and I mean there are some disadvantages and it is a bit annoying because my because I live very central and my Entrance to my building is just ridiculous. There is a restaurant and a bar. There's like always people hanging out like right next to my door and Yeah, it can be a little bit annoying and noisy But also this city is so festive like it just feels Like I'm on holidays and it's just a normal weekend Like this is what I don't know, like it, I just feel like on like I'm on holidays, like I just went to buy fresh summer fruits That's what you usually do when you come to Spain for holidays You go and buy fruits and you go and eat seafood and I actually bought gazpacho <laughs> And I'm gonna also drink that or eat that uh, But yeah, I don't know, it's, uh, it feels so nice today uh, but after lunch I actually have to study a little bit and I will just, uh, yeah, have like a quiet afternoon.
Hi again. This weekend was so nice. I'm very satisfied with it. Uh, I just spent two hours doing homework for, for this online course that I'm doing. And I just wanted to share with you something. This year, since I started therapy, I realized how unconscious we actually are of what we are doing. And we just have these thoughts in our head and we believe them and we think like we actually choose and make decisions. But in reality, we have so many, so much of this programming in our minds uh, from our childhood, from our, from our parents, and we act unconsciously. We do things in a certain scenario, uh, very often it actually repeats itself, but we do things uh, a little bit on autopilot, uh, even though it seems like we are the ones making the decisions and we are the ones behind the, the wheel, the steering wheel, but actually no. And this year I realized so much of that. For example, for as long as I remember, when I was a kid, I was always studying. All I did when I was a kid was go into gymnastics. I used to do a lot of artistic gymnastics and studying really for many years. And actually I remember I was a little bit envy of my mother because I thought uh, she only has to clean and cook after after work. But I have to come from 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 school, then go to the sports and then do homework until like 10, 11 in the, at night. I was literally doing homework all the time. And kids in school, kids in Russia actually go to school on Saturdays, which is, now that I think about it, it's just absolutely insane. How I don't even know how is it possible. Not like super small kids, but like teenagers, until high school, they have to go to school on Saturdays, every single Saturday. And it's crazy, like adults have two days off per week and kids have one, only one day. And yeah, for as long as I remember, I was doing that. And when I grew up and I'm an adult, I am kind of acting the same way. Like I work and then after work every day, I have to do something else that's useful. Uh, I do online courses or like I do this YouTube or something else like I always do something else to occupy my time and be productive and do something something useful like I don't even know what it means but in my head there is a very clear distinguish between something useful and something not useful and yeah this year I realized that a lot of that like I was not conscious of it, of course. I thought that it was me who was making these decisions, but no, actually, I mean, I was making these decisions, but it was based on this childhood programming. And my parents always sent a message that you have to be a good student, that you have to work a lot. Like resting and entertaining is not a thing. Like, and my dad has worked really hard my mother also, my mother always was saying, you have to deserve the rest. You have to work a lot and only then after that you can rest a little bit. But otherwise, no. So yeah, every time I have a feeling of guilt in, in my head, like in myself, when I'm resting or I'm doing nothing or I'm entertaining myself, you know, when I'm not doing something useful, I always have this guilt uh, feeling inside of me. And who am I guilty for? You know, there is no one that I made promises to. So I just have this internal guilt from my childhood, which I wasn't aware of. And they also say that we, as human beings, uh, we are supposed to just feel happy and feel joy as a natural state of ours without doing nothing. Like since we're born, we're supposed to just feel joy and happiness and life should be easy. Uh, but we grow up and like because of our upbringing and the society um, yeah we have so many limitations in our heads we have so much of this programming the judgments uh, all of that that makes us like really struggle with everything in life and like perceive life so hard and we make the decisions that are not even good for us we don't do things that, that we want to do yeah, because we have these ideas of what is right, what is wrong. And yeah, since I discovered therapy, I have a little bit, I feel a little bit relieved because I feel like 
no matter what struggles I have, I'm always gonna have these tools now, now that I discovered it, because everything can be worked on and there are certain actions that you literally can do uh, to improve your life. Like certain steps and life will be just easier and more happy. And yeah, I have, I feel this feeling of relief now and I feel like my anxiety is, uh, is really going down uh, because I just feel like, as I said in the previous video, once you discover therapy, life is never gonna be the same. Yeah, I just wanted to share with you that. Mm, yeah, I actually have to go because I have my lesson now. What do you guys think about all this? Do you believe in that? Or do you think life is actually hard and you can't do anything about it? Uh, yeah, uh, just wanted to share with you that. I hope you have a really nice week and uh, you are doing well and you're safe and sound and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.